Hello everybody, this is GamePro24X, and today I'm going to talk about the cargo carrying limit that Death Stranding has in the game. Uh, we are not going to be mentioning weight at all, because once weight is not really a factor, it all comes down to your carrying capacity. And this video today is going to help teach you what the actual carrying capacity is on Sam and some of the vehicles in the game. So I do want to give a slight spoiler, I'm only in the second area in the game. So I'm still pretty early, but I do genuinely believe that this information is going to greatly help you when you finally start to, you know, grasp how everything works. Now as you can see behind me, I have a vehicle that you don't own. Uh, this isn't even mine, I don't even have it unlocked yet, I just found it from a mule, and that's it. But well, this video is going to help demonstrate just information when it comes to what the vehicles can hold and such. So I hope you can deal with the very tiny and insignificant spoiler. So the types of measurements I'm going to be using for this entire video is units. So if you were to grab a small package, that is one unit. If you were to put uh, two packages and equipment on Sam, it will stack up two high, aka two units. Now I also want to emphasize that when it comes to packages, we're going to be mentioning cargo. Cargo is the stuff that you have to deliver to the other outposts back and forth. We're not really going to be talking about the equipment because the equipment actually falls into other categories. Because with equipment, you could attach, you can also attach equipment onto Sam's limbs. But uh, for example, on the tool rack, you could only put tools on the tool rack, but you cannot put cargo or packages on that tool rack or if you have the blood bags you could attach them into your utility pouch but that's the only thing that could go into your utility pouch now i i am aware that later in the game you have other pouches that are for other dedicated things and what i want to let you know is that even if you fill these specific uh, pouches with its specific item it does not count towards sam's cargo limit and I'm going to show you a full demonstration of that like near the end of the video. That way you have a much better understanding. Now, let's talk about Sam's actual backpack. So Sam's actual backpack, if we use the unit system that I explained to you, can carry a total of eight units. So as you can see here, I have two smalls and one medium on his back. And if I was to add a large container, it will total out to eight and it will fully stretch out the backpack as you see right here once the backpack is fully stretched out any packages that you now grab sam will start stacking it directly on top of his his backpack in a one by two fashion so if i was to grab this extra large it's only going to fit sideways like this and it'll just keep stacking upward and with small packages that same row will contain two small packages and then the next row will have you know, even more small packages, or if you had mediums, it will just be one medium and then another medium on top of it and another medium on top of it. So it only goes by two units uh, on that little row. Now, with that in mind, if I was to equip an extra large package, which again equals six units, you could then fill out the remaining space on the bag with a one medium or two smalls. Because again, one medium is literally the equivalent of two smalls. And it fully stretches out the bag. But the second you start stacking more after the initial eight units, then Sam will start stacking the boxes on top of him. And the reason why I created this unit system is because if you were to grab four medium packages and fully stretch out um, Sam's bag, that's a total of four packages. However, if you were to grab eight small packages, it would effectively do the same thing. But you will be carrying more packages. So this is why we you can't just go off of, oh yeah, Sam can only carry X amount of packages. Well, that's technically not true. Because depending on the size of the package, you can drastically carry a lot more. So that begs the question. If we were to fully stack Sam with just small packages, how much can he actually carry? Well, the answer is 28. And again, I'm only just talking about the backpack. We're not talking about the suit or the weapon rack, or sorry, the tool rack, or anything. I'm just talking about the backpack going from you filling it up all the way up to the top. So now that we established the unit system with small packages equaling one unit, 
Sam's to maximum total baggage capacity for his backpack is 28 units. And of course, other varying sizes of packages will also take up that unit capacity, but you will be carrying much less packages. So yeah, Sam can carry 28 small packages. Okay, so how many medium packages can Sam carry if we only use medium packages? Well, since one medium package equals two small packages, all we have to really do is just take the overall number and cut it in half. So what's 28 divided by two? That's 14. And as you can see right here, I can equip 14 medium packages. If I try to put on anything else, it won't let me. And for large, Sam can carry a total of eight large packages. After that, you can't put anything else on top of that stack at all. Now the extra large packages are actually very interesting, but I'll explain that in a bit. So if you were to load up Sam with just extra large packages, he can only carry four total. However, he did not reach the maximum unit capacity. Because each extra large package equals six units, uh, six times four is 24, technically Sam still has four additional units left, meaning you could put two mediums, four smalls, or one medium and two smalls in Sam's backpack. Another bizarre thing about the whole extra large size and the backpack is that technically there's still enough space in the actual bag itself to put the medium or the two smalls behind the extra large bag that's stretching out behind Sam. However, when you hit auto sort, it'll never actually do it for you. But if you were to put the three extra larges on the ground, then the two mediums, one medium will fill the remaining part of the backpack, and then you can re-equip the three extra larges, and now you have it, you technically have a smaller stack. And depending on the area that you're in, sometimes if you stack the package tower a little too high, you might end up bumping the ceiling, and that's going to cause your, your packages to drop and get damaged. So even, even though the auto sort is great for like majority of the cases when it comes to extra large packages that sam has to carry himself it's definitely worth actually just manually slotting in the extra large and then the two smalls or one medium behind it and then just stack the rest so in terms of sam's backpack that we're only mentioning for now i'll, I'll get to the rest of the stuff like attaching packages on his suit and whatnot um, for just his actual backpack, you can only carry 28 units worth of stuff. And depending on whatever the combination is, that's how much packages you will be carrying total. Now, on to the vehicles. So surprisingly enough, vehicles actually break or somewhat break the unit system that I created. But I think you vehicles just use a slightly different system than what Sam's bag carries. And I'll explain right now. So at the moment, I do not have my bike with me, um, I, and I can travel back to the first area where I can get my bike, but I don't know if I'll lose the truck that I'm currently carrying in, the, in this new area, and I don't want to risk losing it and having to go get it all over again. So um, I'm just going to explain to you like all the information I knew from the bike that I retained, and I'm going to share it to you guys. And of course, feel free to test out all this information yourself on the bike and whatever else you have available. You can easily claim uh, materials from any of the uh, bases and they will and it will create another small, medium, large, or an extra large package depending on how much materials you're taking out. So I implore you to actually test this yourself. All right, so the bike. So the bike can hold packages on both sides and each side is eight units total. So if we were to just look at just only one side of the bike, that means you could fit a total of eight small packages or four medium packages or one large and two small packages or one large and one medium package. And for the extra large, it can only fit one. Here is where that weird discrepancy comes in because as I mentioned before with the unit system, small equals one, medium equals two, large equals four and extra large equals six so because the side of the bike can hold eight units 
then technically you should be able to hold one extra large and two smalls or one medium, but you can't. And it's also the same discrepancy for the large container as well, because one large and two smalls equals six. But after you put one large and two smalls, you can't put anything else on that side of the bike. However, you could definitely fit eight small packages. So this is where the weird discrepancy comes in when it comes to the vehicles compared to the bag is that for some reason, the vehicles are making the large and the extra large count as something more than it should. Now, like I said, I, I don't have footage of me doing this test on my bike. However, this same problem still occurs even on the cargo truck that I'm gonna show you guys right now. So the cargo truck can carry 48 units worth of capacity. So that means that if we were to fully load up that truck, with just small packages, it will be able to hold 48 small packages. After that, if you try to equip uh, another small package, it'll just say, oh, uh, cargo is going to be offloaded if you try and do that. But I want you to pay attention to the actual back of the truck here. Do you actually see how high the stacks are? I'm going to go ahead and try to angle it a lot better, and that way you guys can visually see it. But basically, the way how they stack the small packages, they stack it in a 4x4 four four box. With each row, or each column, has four small packages going up, um, and four packages going to the side in a row. So that's how they currently stack packages in the back of this truck. So remember this because I'm going to show you another really weird inconsistency with vehicles and packages a little bit later uh, for this car. But yeah, like I mentioned, you can carry a grand total of 48 small packages and it'll be all nice and neatly packed in this little tight square. Now with the medium packages, you will be able to carry a grand total of 24 medium packages in the back of this truck. With large packages, you will only be able to carry 12 total. And if you try to equip anything else after that, it'll give you that warning message saying, hey, if you try putting this on, some items will be offloaded. And lastly, with the extra large packages, you can only fit six extra large packages. And that's it. And this is where I'm going to show you another weird discrepancy. So right now in the back of this truck, I have five extra large packages stacked. However, in the last little corner, I have a total of eight, of eight packages stacked there in the corner. So do you see this right here? You see how if I stack eight small packages, you see that they can technically go a little bit higher. Like they technically like go one more unit higher on top of all the extra larges, right? Well, here's the weird thing. Even though this is how the game stacks all the boxes on top, for some unknown reason, you can't stack a, a medium or any small packages on top of the extra large at all. Even though visually, when you look at the back of the truck, you will see, oh, hey, this is how high I can stack them. Well, why can't I just put extras on there? I have no clue. <laughs> and that's where I'm like, well, where is this weird discrepancy coming from then? Because... As it is, the game is treating the extra large as something bigger than it really is. Either that or the game thinks like in terms of like actual size, like it, it thinks that the extra large is literally at the same exact height as eight small packages, but it's not. <laughs> and I could even do it again with just medium packages too. If I was just to get uh, four medium packages, it will stack up to the same exact height as eight small packages. But uh, again, it's the same problem. You could definitely tell, hey, um, technically we should be able to put an additional uh, few boxes on top of these extra larges and it would technically still fit, right? Well, no. And, the, and like I said, even with the unit system, this is where it just has me scratching my head because it's like, well, what is the game treating the extra large as? And it's the same problem on the bike too, especially with the large and extra large. They're, it's counting them as something bigger than what is established already. <laughs> so I don't know. I'm not sure if this is like an oversight from Kojima Productions. But yeah, I thought this was extremely fucking weird. But 
let's just put it this way. If you're ever actually carrying extra large uh, containers in the back of your truck, just know that nothing can ever be stacked on top of it. So it will always take up that little corner of space and that's it. Now there's one more little caveat that I need to mention when it comes to the truck. So if you have the back of the truck fully stocked, you could still carry a little bit more packages on Sam himself and still drive the vehicle. So, you know, here I am just getting into the car. That way I could prove to you, okay, the back of the truck is fully loaded. It has six extra larges. That's it. Nothing else can go in the back. But with Sam, I could carry a little bit more packages to, you know, make the deliveries a lot more uh, bountiful. However, if I was to add one more package, just one, even a small one, on top of Sam's bag, this is what happens. I can't drive the truck now. For, for some reason, the game's like, okay, you're carrying too much shit. You can't drive the truck now. Which, okay, that's fine. But this is where things get really fucking weird when it comes to discrepancies in the package system in this game. So any person would think to themselves, okay, well, after you filled up his initial bag, that means uh, after that, you can't, you can't grab any more packages and carry any more packages in the car, right? Well, actually, no. Technically, um, if you were to grab the small packages, and yes, I even mean the cargo packages, uh, you could attach them to Sam's suit on both his arms and his legs. Uh, currently, right now, I'm wearing the skeleton legs. So the skeleton legs are already taking up that slot, but it's still the same exact concept. Um, so if you were to attach the small packages onto Sam's arm, uh, to, into, onto both Sam's arms, at least in this instance, you would think, okay, well, technically, I'm carrying more packages, thus I shouldn't be able to drive the truck still because it's still the same shit. I just took it and I just put it on Sam's shoulder, right? So again, I just want to demonstrate that with, with this little instance. So as you saw, I, I could not get into the truck, period. But I have two packages on me. So I'm grabbing them both, and I'm going to put them on his arms. And again, it's the, same, it's the same exact package amount. And now look what happens. I can get in the truck now. So for some reason, the game is not counting your arms and legs, whatever packages are on the arms and legs. It doesn't count them. It's only counting the bag. But I'm literally carrying more shit than what the truck did not allow me to carry. So yeah, that's another weird thing about the whole system. But here's where it gets even fucking weirder. So right now, I'm grabbing a pair of boots, and I'm also grabbing a tool uh, that I could put, that I could hang on the, the tool rack on Sam. And I'm also grabbing a blood bag as well. So as you can see, the vehicle is not letting me in because technically I'm carrying too much uh, packages. But if you were to take the tool and hang it on the tool rack, if you were also going to take the boots and hang it on the boot clip, and of course if you take the blood bag and you put it in the utility pouch, look what happens. I can now get into the truck. So once again, the the truck is not counting the the tool the the tool ah, the boot clip. It's also not counting the tool rack, and it's also not counting the utility pouch. So that means you if you fill up those slots in the uh, at, at the very least with the the boot clip and the utility pouch, technically you could still get into the car. So let's do that. Let's. Let's fill up the pouch, which can hold four blood bags, and the, the boot clip can hold two boots. All right, so I fast-forwarded it because, uh, you know, I don't want to bore you guys with me looking for boots and shit. But yeah, so again, the boot clip can hold a total of two boots. The utility pouch can hold a total of four uh, blood bags. And the skeleton shoes, or sorry, the skeleton frame, uh, and the boots that you're wearing, all, they don't count either. Well, in a sense, the legs do, but don't count. Um, but yeah, see, as you can see here, I'm carrying a lot more shit than intended, but I can get into the truck. But if I was to put all that shit onto Sam's bag itself, uh, itself 
the truck won't let me in at all. So that's kind of a good thing that you could technically carry all that additional stuff and you won't have to worry. Now, like I mentioned before, uh, we haven't talked about weight at all because, well, at, at the very least during this testing, weight was not a factor, period. But it weight still does play an important role in the game. But I'm just saying for this video, in terms of cargo capacity, how, many, how much stuff you could fit on your person and on your vehicle, this is what you could actually do if weight was not ever an issue. Uh, like myself right now. Weight is not really an issue anymore thanks to these skeleton legs. So to quickly recap over what we just uh, discussed, for the truck, you could fit a total of 48 small packages or 14 medium packages or 8 large packages or 6 extra large packages. Um, in order for you to still be able to drive the car, Sans bag cannot have any more than 8 units, aka um, once the bag is fully stretched out, the second Sam starts stacking stuff on top of it, you cannot drive the truck. But both the arm, well, well, not both, but the arms, legs, tool rack, utility pouch can still be fully filled up and you could still drive the truck. So keep that in mind because there's been many times I'm over here shuffling things in the truck back when I didn't know how it really worked. And it was just a headache trying to fucking organize this shit. And the entire purpose of this video is to properly educate everybody on how the game uh, stacks packages. And when you finally know the actual limits of certain vehicles and whatnot, figuring out what you could, you could fit on that vehicle um, would drastically reduce the amount of time you waste shuffling things around. Because while I'm driving around in that truck and I still have a lot of space left, I I look at it and I I can immediately tell, oh yeah, I could fit like a large and like a few smalls or a shit ton of smalls or whatever. You could immediately identify that because you already know what the theoretical max looks like. So it's thanks to this information that I dug up and I was able to show to some people they're actually able to complete their deliveries a lot fucking quicker because in a sense, you have less time to sit and think because you already know where to put shit. You already know what the limits are. And when you already know, then you just grab your shit and you just go. And that's it. The one last thing I forgot to mention uh, with the motorcycle is that um, after you initially filled up both sides of the motorcycle, Sam could be fully maxed out on his bag and you could still drive the motorcycle. However, depending on the weight, um, that's going to heavily weigh down the bike. And when you do that, you practically go into chungus mode where you're slow as shit and you start draining more battery. And if you want to move faster, you use the boosters, which of course even drains even more battery. So yeah, you could still technically drive the vehicle with a full bag of packages and a full vehicle of packages. It's just, it'll be pretty slow. So I know this video was just a little bit long, like longer than people would have wanted it to be, but I wanted to showcase all the little discrepancies and, and things that were interesting uh, during the whole testing phase when I was doing research for this video. So I apologize, but at the same time, I want you guys to be fully informed that way you're not scratching your head wondering, oh, why, how come this is not working the way that I described it? Because uh, technically certain things should work a certain way and they don't, uh, even by the game's own rules. So yeah, um, I hope you did enjoy it though. And this information greatly benefits you and your travels and your deliveries, especially uh, in Death Stranding. Now, currently, like I mentioned, I'm still barely in the second area in, in the game. So I'm still doing stuff. Uh, I just been repairing items here and there and like just, you know, creating a nice little uh, safety network around the whole entire region. That way other players can enjoy those benefits. But yeah, um, I'm going to be starting the live stream of Death Stranding shortly after this video is fully uploaded onto YouTube. So if you guys have any actual questions, you could catch me uh, on my Twitch and I'll put that in the description and such. You'll, you can catch me live streaming. You can ask me in person 
uh, about some of this stuff or if you found um, other inconsistencies or whatnot with what I discovered, uh, you could ask me anything there. Also, I do want to let you know that yes, I am aware that there are other things in the game that will help you move more cargo. I don't know what they all are, but I am aware that there is such things in the game. So with that in mind, uh, when I actually find and unlock those items, I will make a part two to this video and I will let you guys know what the cargo limit is for all those other extra items. But in terms of remaining spoiler free, but still want to relay a very important uh, piece of information to even new players, I want to just limit it to just these two little examples with the motorcycle and the cargo truck. But if you have said equipment and actually do want to do this testing yourself, I do have a Discord and we did make a Death Stranding channel and you could post some of the information that you have discovered when it comes to the additional packages and whatnot. But yeah, um, again, hope you guys learned something. This is Game for 24 x and I'll see you guys next time. Mission complete and how? They're gonna tell stories about this one, boss.